Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrink. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 13 of the year 2022 during the fourth session of the fifth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils on May 10th. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and promulgated Law 17 of the year 2022 on endorsing the status the Statute of the Woman Development Organization in the member states of the Organization of Islamic Conference, the OAC. Following its approval by the Shura and Representatives Councils, the Statute of the Woman Development Organization, the OIC, in OIC member states was adopted during the 37th session of the OIC Foreign Ministers Council held in Dushanbe. Tajikistan on May 18th to the 20th of 2010. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, issued a decision to add the recovery program under the supervision of the Addicts Healing Society to the rehabilitation and training programs for those sentenced to alternative penalties and the procedures for implementing them. For his part, the chairman of the board of director of the Addicts Healing Society, Adl Busleber, affirmed the society's readiness and keenness to cooperate with government agencies in order to treat and rehabilitate the recovering beneficiaries of the alternative sentences law, adding that the law is a qualitative leap in the science of punishment as Bahrain is one of the first countries to issue and implement such a law as a result of its judicial and social advantages in giving the family and civil society a role in reforming those convicted with freedom depriving penalties. The Ministry of Housing revealed in an official statistics the purchase of 197 housing units for the beneficiaries of the ministry's Mazaya program with a total value of around 24 million Bahraini dinars during the holy month of Ramadan. The value of the units purchased through Mazaya constitutes, uh, constitutes around 27% of the total value of real estate trading in the month of Ramadan 2022. According to data from the Central Bank of Bahrain, the value of real estate loans for individuals continued to rise from 982 million Bahraini dinars in 2014, the year in which the program was launched, to 2.2 million Bahraini dinars in 2021. Senior realtors affirm that the main driver of the real estate market is social housing, which is supported by the Ministry of Housing through the Mazaya program. Contractors asserted that the residential real estate sector is profitable owing to the Mazaya program through developers' investments in the purchase and development of lands and then selling them to citizens, which contributes contributed to revitalizing the market to record levels. The CEO of the National Space Science Agency, Dr. Mohammed Ibrahim Al Asiri, participated in the Space Generation Advisory Council Forum, which was held under the title Space Devices in the presence of over 1,500 participants from 152 countries representing space agencies and the main company in the space industry. Dr. Mohammed Al Asiri stressed the forum's role and contribution to integrational communication in the space sector in order to maintain its sustainability and to continue building on achievements. Lassiri stressed that integrational communication is an absolute necessity, especially in a sector such as space, which is witnessing rapid growth, especially in this period when the world is witnessing a lot of change on various environmental, economic and political levels. The forum discussed the most prominent space devices that constitute, constitute the backbone of space activities today, with a focus on the success achieved by the world through the cooperation of several countries in building and operating the International Space Station, which had many contributions to serve technical developments in various fields.